In this video, I did a challenge where I had to get every single placement in Mario Kart Online from 1st through 12th without repeating a single one. If you're a little bit confused, try picturing it like this. Let's say for the first three races, I get 1st place, 6th place, and 12th place. If I get any of these placements again, I have to start the entire challenge all over again. To make things more interesting, I used a website to generate a random loadout for each race, so this way I had to rely purely on my own skill and a lot of luck. Now, this challenge has been done by a bunch of different awesome creators before, way too much to count. So in the description, I have linked every wow. single video done of this challenge that I could find, and linked their respective channels as well. So please make sure to go subscribe to all these amazing people. One more thing, this entire challenge was streamed on Twitch, so if you ever want to see stuff like this live, go drop the Twitch channel a follow. But besides that, enjoy the video. For the race one, we do Rosalina Gold Cart, Hot Monster Tires. Meow, Second meow, race, meow, meow, uh, and Naya for meow. Anyways, happy Saturday. Thank you, Obama. Happy Saturday to you too. Uh, so for the next race, we do Cat Peach, and the third race, we do Donkey Kong, and then the fourth race, we do Baby Rosalina, and we just keep going. We have to make things interesting, man. We have to. Oh! Oh, we're fucked. Oh, you guys can't see it. You guys can't see this guy's rating because the, the, the overlay's blocking it, but that guy's rated 99,999. Despite racing against a literal max-rated Mario Kart player in the very first race of this challenge, I was actually managing to keep up with them. Heck, I was even front-running for a good chunk of the race. Things were looking good for a first place until this happened. Wait, I'm actually, like, farming this 99-rated player. Oh, no, I missed a shortcut. Oh, no! No! Not like this! Dude! No. Wait, I think I'm bad at the video game, guys. <laughs> if I didn't play like an absolute idiot on the last lap, I would have officially been able to say I've beaten a 99,999 rated player in Mario Kart. Now, for a huge majority of these races, I was heavily reliant on one specific strategy. Playing for a top 3 spot up until the final lap, and then intentionally throwing the race to be able to get a lower placement like you see here in the second race. For the third race, I was aiming for 4th or 5th place with DK until I got Mario Karted and got 7th place instead. God, I love this game. Now the next race went a little bit different. I was kind of getting bullied the entire time and was literally in dead last, but the interesting thing is, there were only 9 people in this specific lobby, which meant 9th place was actually last place, so the plan was simple intentionally throw the race to get a guaranteed ninth place spot that could potentially be harder to get later. What a gift. This game has secretly given me a gift of ninth place. I've never been so happy to get ninth place in my life, but here we are. The next few races, I managed to get 8th place with Waluigi, 10th place with Dry Bowser, and 5th with Baby Luigi. I was knocking down races left and right. Please no one pass me. No one pass me, no one pass me, no one pass me. 4th? Nice! Holy shit, huge. That's an actual W. Wait, we might do this first try. At this point, I only needed to get top two and bottom two for the last four races. I was on track to complete this challenge on my very first try, but then this happened. Please tell me there's 11 people in this lobby, please. Please. Why are there not 11 people in this lobby? You know what? It's okay. Oh, it's okay. What? We weren't we weren't gonna do it first try anyway. It's all good, you know? It would have been a short stream. With the first run dead, I immediately started again, and the first race went something like this. Alright, you know what? I'm down for I'm down for eleventh. Not last. We're not we're not gonna get last. I'm down for eleventh. Or or tenth. You know what? Tenth works too. Or ninth, you know, I'm 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 fine with ninth, you know, any and anything works, man. Anything works. Fuck. Race 2 and 3 went pretty smooth as I was able to get 5th and 2nd place down. Two arguably hard places to get for this challenge. The next race had me playing as my me character in a cow costume on Toad Circuit. Yikes. And I was on the brink of getting 1st place until I remembered what game I'm playing. Okay. And just like that. Nope, never mind. I forget this game is bullshit. Love that! I can't get fifth. Someone passed me. I can't get fifth. It was at this point when I realized maybe this challenge was a lot harder than I thought. With Run 3 underway, I realized one more interesting thing. Mount Wario probably has the most intense ending to a Mario Kart track in existence. 
Um, oh wait, I'm a genius actually. No, no mushroom horn, 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 horn. Ah! Snipe. Oh, I'm a genius. Wait. Oh my god, I'm a genius. No. Snipe. No. Yes. No. No. I'm depressed. With first place getting stolen from me yet again, we moved on to the next race in GBA Snowland. And by this point, I was starting to lose my fucking mind. You know what? I don't mind getting third. Like dead ass. Uh, third is fine. Actually, I don't. I don't need. I don't need second anyway. You motherfucker! I said third, not. I'm so sad. No, 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 no. No, that's fine. That's fine. This guy's rated 99,900 and I'm so hooked, man. Now what's really funny here isn't the fact that I was losing my mind or the fact that another max rated 9,99999 player joined my lobby. It's actually what happened the very next race. I want you all to count the number of people that left the lobby here with me. You really can't make up any of the stuff that happens in this game. There were nine people in the lobby before this race started, and now all of a sudden there were four. This was actually huge for this challenge because this meant that I was guaranteed a top four spot, obviously not counting second place. So I took full advantage of this by getting an easy first place. My luck in this challenge was starting to show, especially with this next race. I missed the item. I'm cooked. I'm so cooked. I'm cooked. I'm, I'm genuinely cooked. Fourth. Oh! Oh, I got third! Oh, this is so huge! With the top three spots done, this run was starting to look very promising. The next race, my front running strat was shown on full display, with me intentionally throwing at the very end. Dude, these guys are just terrible. How am I supposed to get, uh... How am I supposed to get fourth if these guys are just not good at the game? Alright, let's stop right here. Come on, I need fourth, fifth, sixth. There we go. That works. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, you know what? Seventh is fine too. The next three races went as follows. Sixth, tenth, and eighth. All with different characters and builds. This was going great. And the next one was even easier with me holding such a huge lead on Maple Treeway. I was actually starting to enjoy playing Mario Kart. Huh. That's weird. Wait, I have such a lead. Wait, I need to, I need to start inting. I need to start inting. I have such a lead. I need to I need to play for fourth. I think I can't get first. I'm too good at this game, I guess. Lemonade is not meant to be flat. What what does that even mean, dude? Can I get fifth? I think I can get fifth. I got I got fifth. Look at that. There was just one problem though. With two races left, I needed to somehow get fourth place and eleventh place. Now, 11th place shouldn't be too hard considering it's one off last place, but the real problem was with 4th. With the pack being so close in most races, getting 4th would be a huge challenge. I tried my front running strat once more to try and aim for 4th, but it looked like my luck had finally run out. Alright, I'm hoping these guys pass me. I'm not gonna take the boost panel. Third. Wait, 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 wait! Oh no. Okay, uh, 11th. Please. 11th. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I, I got scared, I got scared, I got scared. With the single race left, I had one more chance to some way, somehow pull out a fourth place. Otherwise, this amazing run was over. Now, do you remember what I said earlier about Mount Wario? With Mount Wario being the final course for this challenge, I knew it was gonna be close. I managed to maintain second place for basically the entire race, but just before going into lap 3, I got comboed by a bomb followed by a green shell, and before I knew it, I entered lap 3 in 7th place. Things were not looking good for me, until I realized what track we're playing on. Um, just two spots. Two spots. That's all I need. No, that guy's a star! No, 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 no. Dude. Please.
Yes! I'm a fucking goat! Yes, dude! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> yes! Dude, holy shit, that's insane, I'm a legend! Chat, you were here, you guys were here. Holy shit, holy fuck, holy fuck. I'm actually, I'm actually, oh my god. Wait, this calls for celebration. That's right, I did it. The Mario Kart All Placements Challenge with random loadouts each race was completed in three tries. If you want to see the full stream of exactly how I completed this challenge, I've left a link to it in the description below. And hey, since you're down there, please consider subscribing to the channel. Believe me, it really helps more than you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Later. Let's go!